Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Today's video is going to be my August favorites. These are the things that I was loving in the month of August. I have some makeup, some TV shows, some games. I'm super excited about what I have today. It's not the biggest list in the world, but it's a very solid, small, curated list of things, and I'm very excited to talk about them. I always love doing these kind of recaps at the end of the month, just chatting about the things that really stuck out to me, things that I was reaching for a lot, things that I was doing a lot, and I always love hearing yours as well, so please feel free to leave them down below, whether it's your favorite makeup, food, an activity you did, hair care, anything at all, leave it down below for me. I love hearing about it from you. Before we hop into my favorites, though, I did, of course, film this look. It should already be up on my Instagram and TikTok by the time this video goes up. And as far as my accessories go, these plugs are Love Kills Boutique. These earrings are from Five Lemons. This necklace was a gift from my in-laws. And this is the Jordan Ponytail from Insert Name Here. So yeah, without further ado, I don't want to ramble too much. Let's just hop in and chat about my favorites. I figured we would just go with makeup first. That's usually what I like to start with. I found my new favorite brow gel of all time. I'm so obsessed with it. I just bought this on a whim because I needed more brow product anyways, and I saw this at Ulta, so I snagged it. It is this Thick It Stick It brow gel from NYX. This is so good. I've been using a fiber brow gel to do the majority of filling in my brows for years because it adds a tint, adds a little extra fluffiness, and I don't have to do too much. I do use a pencil a little bit or a pen, just whatever I'm feeling in the moment to fill in little gaps, but for the most part, a brow gel is all I use. And then I've always had to go in with a very super glue level clear brow gel at the end to really keep them up and fluffy. This one is the best of both worlds because not only is it a fiber brow gel that fills in my brows really well, it's so sticky and it actually holds them in place and it's just so good. My brow hairs are very straight and stubborn so I need something strong and this one has been amazing. I love it. Mine's in the shade Espresso. They had a bunch of different shades. Next up, let's talk about lips. These are technically a very new favorite, but I've already been able to determine that I'm gonna love these for a very long time. I just got sent a package from Lawless Beauty. I've never tried the brand before and I'm already loving these products. They sent these Forget the Filler lip products. This is an overnight lip plumping mask and this one is a lip plumping gloss. They're in the scent Cherry Vanilla. They smell, in my brain they smell like cherry lip smackers but it's been a long time since I've smelled those. But that's what it smells like. That's what triggers in my brain when I smell these. It's so delightful but I love these. I'm wearing the gloss right now just by itself with a lip liner just around the edges. Um, and I've been wearing this one at night for the last few nights and I am already obsessed. I've been putting this one on first thing in the morning if I don't wear it as a lip gloss. I love it. It's a very soft, subtle plumping effect in my opinion. It's like a very soft minty tingle. It's not overly painful for me, uh, which I do like a painfully plumping gloss, but this is just very comfortable. It just makes my lips feel a little bit cold, a little bit juicier, and I really, really like both of these. I'm probably going to be using these nonstop for a while. Now, I still love my Fenty lip oil that I talked about last month. I still use that all the time. That's just different than these. Like, that one isn't tingly or plumping. That one just feels hydrating and nourishing. So I'll kind of reapply that, like, throughout the day if I just need a little extra nourishment. But if I want, like, a plumpy, glossy look, I'm going to be reaching for this. And probably every night going forward, I'm going to be using Using this because I really like it and I actually do feel like my lips looked a little plumper in the morning that could just be like a placebo effect but I swear they looked just a little more just plump and smooth and ready to go I don't know how to explain it but I'm really liking them so far okay so I also have a highlight palette to talk about uh, this is the glam light and Michaela collab highlighter palette. I've really, really been enjoying this. I'm not wearing it today. Poor planning, but I've been enjoying this a lot the last month, and I do have some comparisons that a few of you have asked to see from me. I did feature this in my two looks video with the Michaela palette, if you need to see them like being applied and in action, and I did compare this one to Laser Glazer already, but I had some people asking me to compare the blue and the green one, like the lighter ones, with my light blue and green ones from Kaleidos, from Odin's Eye and from Game Beauty. So I'm going to do that for you. So here's the blue one from Michaela Starstruck right there. And now we have all of them. Again, this is the Michaela palette. This one is Odin's Eye Azura Sky. This is Game Beauty Cryo. And this is Kaleidos uh, Skywalker. As you can see, I mean, they're all blue, obviously, but they're all a little different. Like they're not the exact same, but 
just in case you needed some comparisons to help you decide. Now here are the greens from the Michaela palette. Here is Are You Kidding Me? I'm gonna compare that just again with Laser Glazer in case you missed it last time. And this one's blind and then I'm gonna compare with the Odin's Eye and the Game Beauty. Okay, so here we have it. Again, this is Are You Kidding Me? from Glam Light Michaela. This is Laser Glazer from Kaleidos. This is Blinding from Glam Light and Michaela. This is Moon Talk from Odin's Eye and this is Dendro from Game Beauty. Again, they're all just a little bit different. They're not exactly the same. Still haven't found an exact dupe for Laser Glazer yet, but I'm really happy that I have five beautiful green-based highlighters in my collection. You know, they all offer a little something different and I really, really like that. But yeah, moral of the story is I'm really enjoying the highlight palette so far. There's some comparisons for you for those who needed it. Uh, let's move on to eyeshadow now. I tried a lot of really cool eyeshadow this month, but I decided to only talk about like the three palettes that stuck out to me the most so far. I'm still testing a couple things out currently, but as of like tried multiple times over this month, I have three that I really, really, really enjoyed and I have some singles as well. First is the new Fantasy Cosmetica palette. This is the Sorcerer and I am loving it. I'm pretty sure with all three of these palettes I'm gonna talk about today, I already did a two looks video on my channel and I also have have an Instagram video slash TikTok with all these. So there's lots of inspo if you need it. I'm loving this. If you don't know, the Druid palette they came out with is like my favorite palette so far this year. And this one is just so beautiful, a really good sequel to it. I feel like it complements it really nicely, but also offers something so vastly different. I love their shimmers and their mattes are so easy to work with. I'm just really pumped for a new release from them. Can't wait to see what else they do in the future. And I'm just happy that I've been loving this one as well. I still like the Druid more. That one does speak to my soul more, but I'm very happy with the Sorcerer. Also, getting back to the Glam Light Michaela, I have been loving my Glam Light Michaela palette. I think it's lovely. Packaging's a little annoying because it feels like a rattle. <laughs> but that's okay. And here is the inside. All those greens definitely drew me in. I have only ever tried the other Michaela palette from Glam Light. Those are the only Glam Light things I've ever purchased in my life. And I'm loving this one too. I think I might like it more than the first one. The shimmers in these palettes are just mouthwatering and the mattes are so bright and bold. And I just love how deep some of these greens and blues get. I think it's such a fun palette to play with and I'm really happy I treated myself to it. And then the final palette is the new Nomad palette, the Bosque Nuboso de Monteverde or the Monteverde Cloud Forest palette. It looks like this. It is so, so pretty. I'm wearing it right now. I think this is so much fun. Nomad just keeps killing it with their palettes. I just love the whole theming, the color stories, everything. It is such a treat to play with. I think the shimmers in here are magnificent and these colors are just so fun. I feel so creative when I use this one. I feel like there are just so many possibilities when playing with this palette and I've been having a lot of fun with it. And now moving on to some singles, I had the honor of receiving some of the new Kaleido stained glass eyeshadows and I'm so excited about them. They are beautiful. I cannot get over it. I've been trying to incorporate these with other palettes lately and just playing with them that way, but I haven't really officially swatched and talked about these. So I'm just going to swatch all these and tell you the shades really quick, just for those of you who need to know. And then I'll point out my specific favorites. Look at how beautiful they are. So shifty and magnificent. I'm just so excited that they sent me some of these. So we have Baroque, Cerise, Coronation, Court Jester, Estate, Flagstone, Niello, Radiance, Royal Pear, and Tessera. These are just so good. Honestly, Radiance right here, I've reached for a lot because it basically goes from clear to this really pretty minty aqua flash. I've also used these two quite a lot. I'm really into these like corally orangey ones as well in this kind of dingy green. I love them all. It's so hard to pick, but if I had to tell you which ones I've used the most, it's definitely this one definitely this one and probably this one so flagstone and radiance are my most used so far but i'm obsessed with them all they are so shifty just look how cool these are i love how they change colors they are so fun and i'm very excited about them and that about does it for makeup everything else i have to talk about are just a couple shows and games um just to get games out of the way still obsessed with the sims 4 i can't stop playing it it's like all i want to do in my free time right now it's just such a comfort and such a good escape from real life and it's been so fun and recently they came out with the high school years pack and i've been loving it it is a little buggy i feel like all of their packs are a little buggy at first but i've been having such a blast actually taking my teens to high school and doing all the things that i personally didn't 
care about in high school. Like, I want to do the sports and going to prom and all the things that, like, I wasn't super into. Like, I was not all about school spirit when I was in high school. I did do cheerleading one year, fun fact. And while it was fun, I was very poor. So I didn't really fit in that well, you know? So that was a whole thing. But it's been a lot of fun playing with it with my Sims. It's been so cute. And honestly, the build and buy objects and the cast objects, like all the clothing and stuff, has been like the best part for me. I love all the home decor that went along with that pack. It is so cute and just trendy and funky. And there's some stuff that feels a little more like alt and it's just so fun. I am loving it. I've also lately been playing with Lil Simsy's Not So Berry Legacy Challenge and it's been very fun. It's a 10 generation challenge where each heir of the generation is focused on a color and there's like certain requirements you need to fulfill before moving on to the next one and it's been a lot of fun. I am about to give birth <laughs> to Gen 5 which is so cool about to enter the plum generation and it's just been so fun. It's been letting me play the game in different Different ways and exploring new careers and aspirations that I wasn't really playing with before so that's been a lot of fun as well I just love the Sims and I could talk about it all day every day right now and as far as TV shows go we have been just really loving re-watching what we do in the shadows we haven't started the new season just yet we're about to but I just wanted to shout out what we do in the shadows again just because we've been loving re-watching it and I'm so pumped for the new season and if you have not seen it please do it's a mockumentary about vampires a Taika Waititi show it is so fun funny and wonderful and the perfect entrance into spooky season. Which I guess a side note favorite is the fact that I decorated for Halloween this month and I feel so happy. I feel like summer is truly my seasonal depression and I'm so happy to be kind of escaping that and getting back to my favorite time of year. It's just so exciting seeing decorations and lights everywhere. Between now and so like New Year's is my favorite and I'm just so excited to basically feel happier as time progresses. I'm ready for the weather to eventually cool down even if it's just early in the morning and late at night. I just want a little something so I can open the window for like an hour a day <laughs> and it's going to get closer and closer. I still have a ways to go here in Florida, but I'm willing it into existence. And then this last TV show favorite, minorly ashamed of, but not really because it's been so entertaining. I jumped on the Love Island train. <laughs> uh, we decided to give this season of Love Island USA season four a shot because we saw that Sarah Hyland is hosting it. And my husband and I loved Modern Family. So I was like, hey, since Sarah Hyland is hosting this year, let's give this uh, season a shot. And he was like, you know what, fine. We'll put it on as background noise. Uh, also, jokes on me, the host is never there. I think she's shown up all of like four times. But it's so entertaining. It is so stupid, just stupid reality TV, but it is so entertaining and I am obsessed with it. We, I think are on episode like 22 as of right now, but the episodes come out all the time. I did not realize that. They post like a new episode every day pretty much. So it feels like we're never going to catch up and we maybe have still not caught up by the time this video goes up, but I've been loving it. I hear that the Love Island UK is even better, so I might try that in the future, but I don't want to just like fall down a rabbit hole of only watching Love Island. We're gonna finish out this season as we're watching other things and probably take a break from it and then pick it up later when we don't have anything else to watch in the moment. So there's that. Also side note, it's obviously not a favorite yet because it doesn't exist yet. If you haven't seen the trailer for the new Wednesday Adam show coming to Netflix, it's just called Wednesday, please watch it. It looks so good and spooky and wonderful and I cannot wait for it to come out. It's supposed to come out by the end of this year, so I'm ready for it. And yeah, that concludes my August favorites. I'm super excited that summer is gonna be coming to an end soon and I'm just really looking forward to what's to come. There are some really fun things coming around the corner, so just stay tuned. It's about to be a really fun month and Halloween festivities are about to be upon us. If you made it to the end of this video, leave your current favorite emoji. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I am Batty Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I'm posting most days over here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye. Oh my gosh, the cutest little dog is being walked right outside my window. Oh, there's two of them. They're so cute, the fluffy tail. I die.